well, you've heard it all before. Why do we go overseas and tell people about Jesus when there are people right here in America who haven't heard about him? Stay tuned. And in a moment, I'm going to share that and more. Pastor Brad Smith here. Thank you for tuning in to the Brad Smith Ministries YouTube channel. Do us a favor real quick and go down and subscribe and ring that bell so that the notifications come in so that you're daily and weekly updated with our content. And by all means, share this with your friends. Listen, I want to give you three reasons today why investing in overseas missions is important. Before I get into that, I want to tell you that there are people who are greatly divided over the issue of missions. Some people say uh, we should only do missions in America and other people say that we should do missions overseas. I wanna tell you that this issue is not an altogether simplistic issue, but let me give you a couple scriptures. First of all, in Acts chapter one, verse eight, the Bible records that Jesus said, you shall receive power after the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you shall be my witness, both in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the earth. Friends, that gives us a pattern. It says, uh, you shall receive power, you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem. That's the immediate area where the disciples were. Then he said Judea, which is the wilderness right outside of Jerusalem. Then he goes on and says that you'll be a witness in Samaria. Now the scripture tells us that Samaria was a place where mixed breeds and people who were outcasts lived. Uh, Jesus talks to us about a woman in Samaria who was at the well. Uh, Jesus also gives us a parable about the good Samaritan who passes by and helps the man who has fallen and left half dead. So the scripture talks about Samaria being an unpopular place. I want to tell you that missions starts in our backyard, but it doesn't end there. So I want to give you three reasons why investing in overseas missions is important. Are you ready? Here we go. Number one, first of all, is that Jesus told us to. In Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, Jesus tells us to go into all the world and make disciples of all nations. That means that in order for us to go into all the world, we have to leave the comfort zones of our own lives. That means getting out of your American bubble or wherever you may be right now and investing in a different culture, a different place, someone who looks and talks different than you. So number one, Jesus told us to. Number two, here's the thing, it's because the Holy Spirit is giving us power to do so. You know, the Holy Spirit is, uh, comes inside of us at salvation, and then there's something called the baptism of the Holy Spirit, where the power of God gives us the ability to be a witness, and literally, He gives us the opportunity and the boldness to share our faith with people who have never heard about him before. Here's the third reason, and it's probably the most important. Number three, there are people around the world who have never had an introduction to the Lord Jesus Christ. I know you may find that hard to believe. You may even think that I'm crazy, but let me tell you, there are people in remote villages all around this world, in South America, in parts of Africa, and other places where they've not even seen their own reflection, let alone heard the name of Jesus. And here's what Oswald Smith, a great missiologist, has said. He said, that nobody deserves to hear the gospel twice when half of the world has never heard it once. Once again, Brad Smith, three reasons why you need to invest in missions. Number one, because Jesus told us to. Number two, because the power of the Holy Spirit gives us the power to share. And number three, because there are people who have never had an opportunity. Love you guys. Subscribe and share until we see you again. God bless you.